Alright. Torture talk. So I want to do a video, real quick video, of the video from a Nigerian doctor named Dr. Stella who went viral, who said a couple of things uh, that kind of piqued a lot of people's interests. And uh, she said some things that I think that, I mean, truth be told, kind of scared people. Um, and I want to uh, get into the false debunking of her, of how people are taking this and trying to run with it with uh, certain things she said, and they don't provide any backstory or any evidence. It just, and what re really kills me, but, well, I'll get into that. Well, anyway, so recently she, she they did, a, uh, I think this was uh, maybe last week, uh, a couple of doctors um, stood in front of, uh, uh, I, think, I don't know if it was Congress or somewhere they were at. Anyway, it was, I think it was in DC. And they stood in front of there and they talked about how they treated COVID patients and the COVID patients they treated, uh, none of the patients that they treated died. And they used uh, hydroxychloroquine and uh, z pack and, and something else. And uh, I don't, I'm not really a, a, a doctor, so I, I'm not gonna get into the technical terms of, of how they say these words. I'm just gonna just say hydroxy. I'm not gonna say the whole word because I don't wanna mess it up. And somebody's like, you said this. Like, so. Uh, so anyway, so she said that she treated over 300 and some patients and she never lost a patient and she'd been treating them with hydroxy. And she also said that uh, uh, that we don't need to wear masks and it's a cure for COVID. And she don't understand why they're, they're everybody, they're locking people down and now, she's not the first person to say this. And what really shocks me is it's a bunch of people who said this. But I think the reason why most people are trying to debunk her or trying to false debunk her, I should say, is because Trump retweeted what she said. And that's corny. None of you guys have any factual evidence to back up her saying some of the things she said in the past about uh, aliens and stuff like that. But y'all go out here and y'all will share something because someone else shared it. Because y'all don't like Trump that much. That's very sad. This lady could actually really be telling the truth. And y'all out here because Trump said it. And what really cracks me up is people that support the BLM movement, right? The Black Lives Matter movement. What pisses me off is there are a bunch of people who put out that they're being funded by certain people. And you guys never share that. And the people that they're being funded by basically are white supremacists. And nobody shares that. Nobody says anything about that. Nobody, nobody puts that up. And it cracks me up how this black woman is out here basically trying to save lives. And y'all saying she's wrong. But y'all believe the same people that lie to y'all. That's the crazy part. Y'all believe the same people that constantly lie to y'all. That don't even know about this disease. Listen, this woman's been a doctor for over 20 years. She's been a doctor for 20 years. You haven't been a doctor. You've never been a doctor. Now, I get it. People say they get a second opinion. They say, oh, I read somewhere somebody says, oh, she's the new Fauci. First of all, she don't work for Trump. Let's just get that out the way. Second of all, everybody's been saying this about this drug. I don't understand why it's such a, such a surprise to y'all because Trump said it. 
that's what's really killing me is Trump said it in the beginning and y'all hate Trump that much that y'all got to find something on this woman to try to debunk her or make her look bad because y'all hate Trump that much. You can't just take what she says and separate it from what Trump says, because guess what? If another doctor say it, y'all going to have a problem with it. If another doctor say it, y'all going to have a problem with it. Only time y'all not going to have a problem with it is if one, if somebody from that a, a different party who doesn't support Trump say it, then all of a sudden everybody's going to say, oh, yeah, this, this is true. Like as if y'all never seen it. It's like that whole the, the cartoon pinky in the brain with a dude. The slow dude is the one who come up with all the answers, not to say that the doctor's slow. But, and then the one that doesn't know shit takes all the credit. And it's crazy to me how you guys out here take all the credit for something. So now y'all out here sharing this flyer, trying to make this lady look bad. But she says she don't care. She said, I don't care. I'm going to tell the truth. Because she knew they was going to come after her. And y'all fell right into the narrative. Right into it. And it's so sad. It's so crazy to me. How y'all fall into this narrative. If the lady says she treated over 300 and some patients. And the people that they're talking about. Never treated a COVID patient. How are y'all taking their word for it. And she treats patients. And she says she never had COVID. I mean okay you said oh well she could be lying. She could be telling the truth too. It's like, it's like, how y'all upset about this lady saying what she feel about this disease? I had some disagreements with what she said. I mean, she said that it's a cure. I don't know that to be a fact. But I can guarantee you this. She know better than me. She's a doctor. She went to school for it. She knows better than me. So if I went and studied something... That's different. But I don't study diseases. She knows about it. So if someone says, oh, well, how do you know she know? Then we're going to keep having this back and forth argument of how do we know, how do we know, how do we know? But she's a doctor. She's a doctor. Obviously, she know more than you when it comes to this type of stuff. That's just that. So I don't know. It's just so upsetting because people people just want to have something negative to say. Y'all got that from Trump. Trump had a, a, a he had a a, a briefing and and a female female uh, asked him that question. Asked him why he retweeted what Doctor um, Doctor Stella said, and Trump explained why. And then she's in what in her question, she said, why would you retweet something or somebody said that something about aliens and stuff like that? And it's like, see, that's a loaded question. Number one. Number two. Number two. Nobody knew that. So if it, we could if it show me some documentation or, or a video where she said this at, I need to see that, because if you're just going to say she said that. And then everybody else is saying she said that. Nobody's seen where she said it at. And maybe she could have said it in the sense of making a joke. Maybe she could have said like, yeah. Because you know, <clears throat> the news media, they take everything and they twist it. So she could have said shit like, oh yeah, well, you know you can't believe what everybody says. They'll say something like, you know, you can be cured from alien DNA. And then they just took that one part and said, she said, you could be cured from alien DNA. And in all actuality, she's saying that people say anything. So I need to see the full context of the video or the, or what she said or who said who she said it to. Because, number one, if you're going to say that, provide the context. Don't just say she said something like that because the news media twist everything to fit the narrative. It is what it is. Like I said, man, y'all need to do your own research on people and stop, stop this taking everything um, and trying to make it fit to your narrative. Oh, yeah, we'll see. 
it's it, it's it's y'all do all this figuring out. Everybody does all their research when it comes to something that that goes with Trump. When it comes to Trump, y'all do all this research on everything. Oh yeah, see. But when it comes to other things, y'all don't want to do research. And people tell y'all, hey, listen, you should look into this. Y'all don't want to look into it. But y'all, but y'all believe anything that these news media outlets say, but the news media outlets clearly be lying to y'all or clearly use words to, to, um, to mislead y'all and y'all still follow it. And y'all know they be lying. That's the crazy part. Clearly be lying. And y'all run right with the story. Y'all see none of y'all on my Facebook, I swear, most of y'all don't even, y'all not even in the politics. As soon as y'all read a headline, y'all share it. As soon as y'all read it, don't even read the, y'all don't even go in and read the context of the headline. Y'all just say, oh, Trump said that uh, there's good people on both sides. And then y'all just run with that. He could have said there's good people on both sides of uh, a, a, a good crowd of people. I don't understand it. And it's crazy to me. It's crazy. It's crazy. Do y'all research, man. Do y'all research before y'all start sharing these posts. It's crazy because all y'all doing is polluting the air. Like, listen, I'm like this. Trump say something wrong, I'm going to put it out there. But I'm going to do my context first. Pelosi say something wrong, put it out there. So I'm going to do my context first. If she say something good, I'm putting it out there. I'm going to do my context first. I'm not going to be out here just sharing stuff. And I'm not even into this stuff because y'all want it. All what they call that? They call that sharing hate. I'm not gonna do that. So shout out to Dr. Stuff uh, for for being brave enough to say something about it. And it's been proven that this drug works. I don't understand it. Y'all can say whatever she said in the past about whatever. And that's another thing too. I want to get into real quick. Everybody says something about when when Candace Owens says something about George Floyd. Y'all had a problem when she brought up his past. But now, no one, everybody doesn't have a problem with these news media outlets bringing up this lady past, even if she said that when she was young. Maybe she was young and naive. Who knows? But y'all don't say nothing about that. It's crazy. The hypocrisy in this country is crazy. I swear. Y'all are crazy, man. Y'all crazy. Y'all talk out one side of y'all neck. It's so crazy. And y'all know the facts. Y'all be knowing the truth. And y'all just talk out one side of y'all face. Like, come on, man. Don't you talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Y'all gotta stop this, 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 this. I don't know how to even explain it. This biasness. It's like, and y'all clearly be biased. And in matter of fact, it's not even y'all biased. Y'all be like, y'all support people that say the wrong stuff. And it's like, y'all know they wrong. And all and, and just because you don't want to be, just because you don't want to say you're wrong, you will support somebody that's wrong and you know they wrong because you don't want to say you're wrong. Just say you're wrong. That's it. If it comes out that that this lady said this and they got her on camera and she clearly said this, I would say, hey. She was wrong about that. But when it comes to that drug, that most doctors, a good 99% of doctors saying that it's effective, then what are y'all arguing for? Torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Tell your family about me.